Uh, right. So there's two different ways you can play, essentially. Like, so if you want to, uh, like, we're gonna crush this dude. It's pretty obvious. Um, we could go and actually fight the battle itself, and that's where you zoom in and you take control of all your dudes and you go and beat the crap out of them. Mm -hmm. Or you can auto resolve which just kind of adds up the numbers and gives you like a rough estimate of like, yeah, you would probably do really well and it will just resolve the battle for you. So which one do you want to do now? Uh, or you can run away. Uh, I'm gonna auto resolve because- This is not a particularly exciting yeah, battle. Yeah, it's not a super exciting fight. Like it's just gonna be a bunch of zombies smashing into each other. Um, so it's gonna go like, hey look, good job. Uh, so we lost a couple dudes. So like we deployed 327, we lost 62 but we have a whole bunch of ours remaining. We destroyed their army of like 181. There's nothing left. And we even captured a couple. Oh, nice. Um, so what you can do is at the end, you have a couple of things. So you can return the captives, which usually gives you some money, but the downside is your guys replenish a little slower. Um, you can murder the captives, <laughs> uh, which gives your whole army a leadership buff, which means they will like stick to you stronger. They won't, uh, they won't their morale won't drop and they won't run away as, as quickly. Or you can dominate them, um, which just kind of helps your unit replenishment over the next like turn or so. Um, so we're gonna dominate. We have a bunch of money. Um, our dudes are a little weak, so we're gonna dominate. And then we'll replenish basically the health of those units. We'll have more, yeah, no by, more, no by more just numbers. A little bit. So uh, Cloudcraft points out that he usually doesn't auto resolve just because he feels like he can often get get better results. But it's just, it's sort of it's kind of about like how how you value your time. Exactly. You know, it's like it's if you want the game to get to a conclusion faster, you can mm -hmm. accept some basically some some losses from yeah, like yeah, it's just a management result. of time sort of like because there have been fights where they've they've basically said, oh, you have like a 50-50 chance to do well or to do bad, and I've auto resolved those and just been like, oh yeah, they destroyed your army and you killed like thirty of theirs, and then I reloaded that save and played it my own way, yeah, and crushed them, and like it was the exact opposite. <laughs> so it was like, okay. If anything is even remotely close, I tend to play the battle myself. But mm -hmm. if it's when if it's like two to one and I'm just gonna destroy them, then I auto resolve. And the auto resolve tends to like heavily weigh in one person's favor or another. Mm -hmm. If you're gonna do really well, you're gonna do really well. And there have been some fights where like they've said that I've lost zero dudes. I'm not sure how they did that. Um, <laughs> So if you're if you're like doing really like if I had fought that last battle I probably would have lost more than sixty two guys, but if I auto resolve it then yeah like so it kind of depends on how yeah. stacked it is on one person's side or not. That makes sense. Um, so we so killed that dude. By the way, our uh, our audio issues seem to be fixed. Uh, I just listened to a preview oh, of it on sweet. Twitch and, and we seem fine. So I don't know what causes that. It just happens sometimes. Like I ended up redoing my like an entire broadcast of um, of. Uh, what's it called? Overland. Because the first time I had audio crack, and the second time I didn't. Weird. Randomly. Yeah. Anyway. Hi, Calvin. Oh, by the way, um, Mon Prince Eclopes says hi to you uh, on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Wanted anyway. to pass that on. Anyway, go ahead. Um, so we completed that mission of punching that vampire in the face. We get some money for it. Sweet. Um, Those that serve oh, your cause gain experience oh, over time. Sure. Character rank. Oh, okay. So your uh, army leaders, your generals, your lords can level up. Um, and this is where you can actually start investing. And this is so many different things that we can click on. You can start investing in different ways to level your dude up. Um, so this guy is kind of neat in that he is a melee combatant. He's really strong, but he also has some cool magic. Um, so we can invest in that. Um, so he personally walks out onto the battlefield with the troops. Oh yeah, and he's very, very strong. Um, your lords in this game, even if they're like spellcasters, are very strong. Like they can take on one or sometimes two units by themselves and be pretty <laughs> all right. Um, especially depending on how you level them up. Uh, so this guy, um, this guy is a bunch of stuff, and most of it is involving like blood and magic because vampire. Um, so like this one is just a passive ability that just replenishes the health of anybody nearby. Um, and that's pretty sweet. So that's usually what I pick with him. But he's also got, you know, um, some different spells. So this is where magic comes in. Um, so if you notice, it says spell details, and then a very right-hand side, there's a little blue icon, and then a nine. Mm -hmm. um, so the blue icon is called the Winds of Magic. Um, that's how much magic it costs, and then it takes about, um, I think, nine seconds to cast. Mm -hmm. I'm remembering that right. Um, 
And so these are little things that you need to pay attention to. Some of these are just passive buffs. So like you move farther on the campaign map. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Um, or just like your leadership aura. So anybody nearby is going to be like a little better morale because, or whatever. Yeah, because they're near their commander. And morale is kind of that's sort of what a lot of these battle, battles hinge on, right? It's they like, do quite a bit. So you guys, your guys can route if they panic. So like if they take too many losses, if somebody like their leader dies, they're going to have a huge morale hit. Um, vampires are interesting in that they don't actually have a morale mechanic. So your guys will oh. never ever route. Which is because neat. they're skeletons. Because they so, don't care, yeah. yeah. But what they will do is they'll start to crumble. So if they're oh. like, so instead of morale, you, ha you have like basically like dominance over them. So if you start wavering in your dominance over these guys, they don't start running away, their health just starts plummeting. Oh, so interesting. So it's kind of a trade off. They'll never run away, but if you just completely encircle a unit and their what would be their morale starts dropping, it'll drop even faster. So with a vampire, if you start losing a fight, you it, it snowballs and you start losing it even harder. Wow. Because um, which is very similar. To, I mean, like even in I mean, I, I love the way that he's routing because even like in the real world, it's like most a lot of the the casualties you suffer in these kinds of battles are casualties when someone decides to run away. Yep. Then that then that's when you kill them all. <laughs> yeah, you can you can chase them down and get even more kills. And so like with the vampires, the the crappy thing is if you lose to a morale, like if you start crumbling. Mm -hmm. All of those dudes will die. Like you will lose your whole army. Whereas with a route, you can sometimes Salvage get back some. like half units. Yeah, exactly. Um, so vampires are pretty all in. Um, so in that case, we're gonna pick the hungering because I like to slowly replenish health. It just makes my guys last longer. Hmm. So we spent that skill point, and there's all sorts of stuff. This tree goes a lot more. Holy harder. crap! Yeah. And then you have. Can, really... can this guy get killed in battle though? Oh yeah, you can lose him. Which would suck big time. Um, can you replace him with a similar dude, or uh... not one as awesome? But yes. Mm -hmm. So like you can get lower lords and things like that. He also has like quest missions to get cool stuff. Wow. So like a really awesome sword, the sword of unholy power. So it gives him a whole bunch of stuff. You can get mounts. So like a dead horse or a zombie dragon. Like these are all really cool stuff. <laughs> <you can laughs> zombie get. dragon. Yeah. And this is just like level your dude up to level twenty five, and you get access to this. So and so these when you. They're called quests, but do you actually have to send him somewhere, or does he just... We Dude, imagine he yeah. went on a quest. No, you'll actually get... So, I think it's actually... Oh, they may pop it up in a minute, but eventually this guy will give you one of these. It says, like, hey, this is just a generic one. Like, go and capture this town. We'll give you some money for it. Cool. Um, so we, we won that fight, and he got a passive effect, which was he now has a chance of stealing a magical item at the end of a battle, which mm. is actually kind of great. Corpse thief. So we killed that guy. Bye. Um, so eventually, yeah, you'll get a mission that just says, "Hey, like, hey, go here." And they're usually bigger scripted battles. So uh, Cloudcraft wonders if uh, if heroes will have economic boosts too that you can earn, or is it, is it mostly all just combat? Yeah, it's actually stuff? you can have economic boosts as well. So like, if we go and look at this dude, we can look at the details. Um, so he'll have all sorts of stuff. So you have armor, you have weapons, you have talismans, all these things that you can give. You also have, so like followers, this is just a dude who's nearby, who's hanging out in our oh, army. Oh, that's the guy gets in the magic items. Yep, he doesn't help out in combat at all, but he has the chance of stealing an item. Um, and you can get all sorts of stuff. Um, these guys are pretty focused on combat, uh, but so like the Empire, you can get stuff where it's like, uh, you have a lower cost of recruitment for that guy. Um, or you know, you increase the uh, income from buildings as long as you're hanging out in that in the radius of that town. Yeah, cool. Hey, Incendaris, nice to see you. Uh, I don't I don't think we met before, but uh, yeah, glad you glad you joined us here. We actually uh, we actually do this stream uh, every weekday at noon, so you know, anytime you want to come by, we're happy to have you. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> um, so we you gotta, you gotta pimp the stream. Uh, absolutely, uh, that's what I'm here for. So we can recruit more dudes, and the cool thing is we just landed on a battle, so we can actually raise the debt. Oh, uh, nice! So this was, uh, this is a mechanic that's available kind of anywhere in Vampire Lands, but if you find yourself at a... Like a uh, former battle site? Or? Yeah, and it will tell you, like, hey, these are how many, like, casualties were on this spot. And the bigger that number is, the better you can raise stuff. So, like, right now it's giving us access to Skeleton Spearmen which we can't actually recruit. We don't have the ability to do that because our building is still building. But through Ray's Dead, we'd be like, hell yeah, I want some of these guys. Um, they're usually, actually they're, they, they cost just as much, um, 
and they're instantly given to your army. There's no waiting for them to like, like to recruit or whatever. Yeah, yeah, to like show up. So raise dead is really really good, but there's a limited number. So like, there was only you know one of these skeleton spearmen, one of these skeletons, and three zombies. <coughs> We want all these dudes, because why not? <laughs> so Cloudcraft was, says he was asking about economic abilities because there's a trade-off in um, Shogun uh, where you could uh, assign a guy to be a general or to be a governor. Oh. And is that is that something you've seen here? Um, or are the cities kind of self-managing? The cities are a little self-managing. Um, I think a lot of that is done through, like, the... Where is it? The technology? Yeah, so, like, some of these things... So, like, a lot of this is... Um, more economic growth, um, so like income and growth and uh, corruption and things like that. Um, but all the factions actually work a little differently. Uh, the Empire, for example, you have a technology tree, but then you also have, what do they call it, your like office tree? So <laughs> it's where you, you're managing a kingdom. So you have a king, but then you also need a treasurer and like a general and like there's like five or seven different slots that you can put your lords into. That says like you will help boost my economic growth because you're going to be the treasurer now. And then, um, and then you, say, you could look at like just their general power level and specific skills, maybe, to see who should have what job. Or um, that's a super good question. The Empire is the one I've played the least because gotcha. why would I want to play humans when I can play you know vampires? Yeah, that was a problem. I think I was talking to somebody over lunch about uh, Pillars oh, of Eternity, goodness. and uh, and I asked them, so did you choose one of the familiar fantasy races or did you choose the giant flaming head? Oh, and <laughs> of course, you have to have a giant flaming head. Yeah. If, there, if 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 like, your options are human, dwarf, whatever, giant flaming head, choose giant flaming head. Uh, it's kind of a kind of a dominant strategy. So same same thing here with the empire, right? Pretty Where much, it's like, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you've got you can get into a whole bunch of this stuff. So like stances. Excuse me. Right now you can only march a certain amount of distance. I'm on no stance. Mm. But you could do like march, which like drastically increases the distance you can go. But your dudes are tired. You can't really start any fights. Um, so it's like, just if you got ambushed or something, you'd be in trouble. You'd be in a little trouble. Yeah. You can do ambush yourself, um, where you can just hang out. You just wait somewhere for somebody to get close enough, and then... Yep. Uh, you can do raiding, where you just kind of, like, if I wanted to, I could start raiding and just pillaging the site. Just every turn, I would start gaining a little bit of money. Um, their public order would go down. Uh, their growth would go down. Um, and so just bad stuff for them in general. So, but, if, so, but if you wanted to be just, like, the horrible asshole vampire army and just raid everywhere, you yep. could. I could just plop a dude there and start raiding that town over and over again. Um, but people can also do it to your army oh, or your settlement your places. Um, and then you have channeling, which is just kind of your recruitment stage. Um, so we can't run anymore. We're still building stuff. Oops, click that. Oh well. Um, we're gonna. Go stuff to will happen. Turn. Stuff happening is always good for the stream. Oh, dwarves. What? That seems to be your. Oh, so I think somebody's actually raiding me right now. That's your flank! Yep. So there's some orcs that are hanging out on the very edge of my territory, raiding it. Oh! So, yes. That makes me angry. Be good, devil. So let's see. You may have it. You're be quiet, guy. So he's got a very tiny army, and he's just going to be slowly... So he's pissing off my town right now. Um, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Um, if he tries to attack me, he's actually got a very small army. Um, each... You have like a garrison that'll fight him off if he tries to. Do indeed. My garrison is much bigger oh. than his entire army, so I'm not super worried about that. Uh, Wayfaring Stranger points out that, that one thing he appreciates about the Total War series is that like each iteration, they're really innovating. Like they're always trying to change up what they're doing and try new things. And he says it doesn't always work, but he's really glad to see it to see them try. I know? always appreciate that, and I think with this, they they took that to like tenfold. They just <laughs> yeah. Tried a lot of cool stuff. I'm sure that I'm sure the guys at Creative Assembly were th when they landed this license. I'm sure they were all just like celebrating because like, I would be like, like so much room to stretch out yeah. and try new things. Everyone that I've heard uh, look at this has gone this has taken like why is it taking so long to get these two uh, worlds together because yeah. it seemed like I'm really, surprised, I'm really surprised there wasn't like a Lord of the Rings tie-in like you know yeah. eight years ago or something like that I mean it's kind of late for that now Lord of the Rings yeah, you know, whenever you finish a movie series it's like the IP just, just dies just, like nobody's talking about Twilight anymore yeah. you know uh, well, they, they, they've got that uh, they've got that uh, Harry Potter theme park now they do. but I, I keep being surprised by the ads for because I'm like, wait, but are people still keep, talking to Harry still Potter? They're still going because they've got the like new oh, movies. Oh, the new and movie. Stuff. That's yeah, true. So, so yeah, 
Alright, well, That's we're going to just resolve this because it's like four dudes against many. Um, but you can do some cool stuff when you get to a town. You can encircle it. Um, and if you want to do that, you're basically just starving the town out. <gasps> wow. Um, so it will tell you, like, hey, it will take this many turns before they start to gain, like, before they start to lose dudes. Now, before you, so we've got 15 minutes left. Yeah. I think we should do at least one live battle before we, before we sign up. So do you think there's going to be another one? If there so, There is. There's one very close. So okay, cool. So go, go ahead and auto-resolve that one. That's fine. And then we'll go straight to the other place. And all right, try cool. And probably lose because it's a very big town. <laughs> um, so you have all sorts of options that you can do. You can just burn the town down. Um, you can sack it where you just take a whole bunch of their stuff and then leave it. You can loot it and occupy or you can just occupy. Um, we don't care. We're just going to we're gonna sack it. Um, <laughs> You get, you're the uh, you're the best oh, vampire. You're the worst people, but the best vampires. <laughs> so let's see. We're just gonna recruit a couple dudes this turn, and then we want to move over to this place. Oh, we can actually straight up attack this place. Cool. Uh, oh no. The okay. city so this. Oh man. Okay. Weapons so we're gonna actually have to, to wait at least. Oh, so you can build okay. siege weapons? Yeah. So That's this right. is yeah, we'll, we'll just power through it. That'll be cool. Yeah. So this, this, they have like gates and walls and all sorts of stuff. And this, each one of these things, if you want to build those big towers that you saw at the beginning, they take a long time to build. Um, so Which gives him time to bring in reinforcements and stuff yeah. like that. So, so you got to be careful yeah. about how you balance your time. Yes, we're sieging. That's nice. Are we down? Or we're just going to quickly jump. Oh, he has a skill point. Um, yeah, why not? Oh. oh, dwarves and orcs. Okay, so that dwarf just took care of our orc problem. He just came over and beat the crap out of those orcs, and now they're dead. Uh, so we don't have no to worry about that. <laughs> not yet secure, Dark Lord. Yes, I know. Public order. That's all right, so you have to keep your towns happy. Um, they won't be happy if they get raided, all sorts of stuff. Um, but we don't care about that right now, because we're going to go fight a dude. Yeah. Cloudcraft points out, so Cloudcraft has been mentioning here and there in the chat that, uh, that the AI in this game it can be very frustrating. And then, and because, you know, they're, they're trying to do very complex things with this AI. They're having not just these large units moving, but each individual character within the unit also has its own AI, and, and they can get scattered, and they're managing so many things at once that they have to, you mm -hmm. know, keep things very simple on the high level, which means that it's hard to do things like navigate a city properly. And, it can and be, yeah. Like From what I've heard, this, this is better AI than the previous ones. It's still not perfect by yeah. any means. It's, I feel like it's, it's probably just because of the scale of what they're doing, it's, <laughs> it's going to be a constant struggle for them no matter what. Mm -hmm. Cloudcraft is telling a story here about how um, he fended off an army three times his size because for some reason the AI gathered 80% of the army in one tiny little corner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're gamble. So Winds of Magic, this is you know what you use to cast all your spells. You can you can oh, And you're not it. quite sure exactly how much you're going to have? Yep. So you start out at a base number and then they say, hey, do you want to gamble? It can go up or down. I got lucky. It went up a little bit. So this is the deployment phase. This is where you can choose what to do with all your dudes. Um, I'm going to select basically. So like I have no ranged dudes. I usually try and split them up between melee and ranged, but no reason to do that now. Um, He's got everybody. Yeah, so we're going to... So looks like, is it the, ske the skeletons are more tightly packed and the zombies are more looser? Yeah. The zombies so are kind of like your peasants in previous basically, games? Basically, yeah. So like these are, you know, skeleton spear or just regular skeletons. These are all the zombies. They look hilarious when they run because they're just <laughs> they're super floppy and ridiculous. Um, so we have a single battering ram, I hope. Do we have a battering ram? Battering ram? Maybe we don't. Well, he's going to have to be our battering ram, but he has like zero health, so Ooh, okay. this may not go This may not go so well. <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh, no, here it is. Okay, cool. Okay, good. Uh, so it just has crit ghouls in it. All right, so neat. You're going to be super important. Um, and then we'll just the rest of you as three. I don't care. Um, so our battering ram, which needs to go in front, and we want to get him as soon as possible to that place. All right, so we are going to start. So battering ram, go and do your thing. Oh, uh, we want you to go much quickly. That way. Oh my god, it's so slow. I've never used battering ram before, so this is <laughs> epically slow. Now, do you have do you have a speed button? Can you make the oh, battle yeah, go I faster? Can. I can indeed. Okay. <laughs> uh, the number of arrows. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, dude. 
Um, but, but the battering rams get a lot of health, right? They got a little shelter and everything. Does, and if you yeah. send the zombies up, it seems like they'll they'll soak some of the damage that could be coming from the walls. That's right? the idea. So my skeletons are running up. My zombies are actually going faster than the battering ram, considering the battering ram is crazy slow, or the zombies are crazy slow. I'm amazed that they're going faster. Um, and you are. Yep. He's on like. Oh no, wait. Oh, he can't go double speed. All right. So we'll are you going to be losing get. more skeletons than you want to right now, since uh, yep. there's no battering ram? Yep. Oh wait. Oh, they can cool ladder. Is, they can do ladders. I did not know they could ladder. Yeah, so we're gonna do ladders now. Um, I, I like the sort of how it highlights how many ladders you can fit on a wall, how many units can be climbing at once. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I'm not sure why you guys are not, there you go, that one. Um, I don't want to send all my guys there yet, because I want to send some through the... Uh, like through the door when they... The door, yeah. Um, all right. So, all right, so they're getting up there. They don't do great when they're coming up on ladders because they're coming up really slowly. The other guys have a chance to surround, but it's better than nothing. But battering ram is here. We got dudes going up on all sides. This is all good news. Uh, it's a, the way that you're leaning, uh, you kind of look like uh, the guy who's on the upper left of the screen. <laughs> I feel like all, I all, 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 all you need is like a little parrot right there. Yeah. And, yeah. I have a little more hair than, than that guy does, <laughs> so I'm okay with this. So this is going to slowly beat down the wall, or the, the gate, rather. These guys are up here doing their thing. We're losing pretty hard up there, but whatever. Yay! All right, so that's done now. Um, everyone get inside. Quickly. And, then and your special units, too? My, yep. So this guy doesn't actually... Now, if you had an army that was all bats, could you just skip this part? Just, like, you could, fly over the walls? You could probably die very quickly. B bats are, are bats more support troops than... Yeah, uh, they're also considered pretty expendable. Um, so let's see, we actually do have a Whoa, spell. Whoa, what is that? So that's uh, an aura effect. So somebody just cast a spell. They, they must have some sort of um, general or somebody nearby. Um, is this an enemy casting the spell? Yeah. So oh, we're yeah. just going to get all of our dudes off the wall. Oh, man, these guys are getting wrecked. All right, so I'm <laughs> doing very poorly. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I, I kind of rushed you into this anyway. No, nah, it's okay. It's So, like, it says that we're kind of, sort of, even... Uh, what we want to do is... When they have a castle, though, even's pretty good. Yeah, and, you know, no ranged is difficult. Um, so these guys are all probably going to die. That sucks, but whatever. They'll be fine. <laughs> They're zombies. Yeah, who cares? Um, so we got some zombies up here fighting some skeleton warriors. Or no, vice versa. Those are ours. <laughs> um, but I don't actually see a whole lot of their dudes left, so I'm not so sure where they all are. Oh, oh they're, are they gathering in the center of town? or? Yeah, where are they? That, you know, I don't know. So I lost a unit. This kind of gives you some pop ups. Okay, uh -huh. we're losing dudes. Um, Popped up behind our heads. We're going to just rush the town because they're not doing much to stop us. So um, they've got a bunch of dudes on the walls, but they're all still hanging out up there. So, yeah. So that's fine. So, if, so now, if you had a guy to like charge into the back of these dudes, they that could, yeah, they could turn right around and just charge into them, which in fact, you can. Oops. Do, so, I remember that was like the giving them like oh, commands to like hey, interesting. Move, move back around. I have never seen that kind of move. Yeah. Is that is that I think that might be a new addition oh, unless unless they add it with like Shogun 2 or something. It's a possibility. Cuz that wow. So yeah, you send can that many waypoints like, and loop around and like start encircling them and that's how you can start getting some like good um, flanking positions and things like that. Um, so my yeah, I remember like my main you know the main strategy that I liked was you know engage them but then send find a way to send your cavalry around the back and just charge right into them from the rear. So we're gonna try and buff some of our troops. So this is one of the spells that I grabbed, which just gives them some health back. Um, and then we're gonna try and deal damage to some of these troops. So we finally found where all their dudes are. Uh, <laughs> they're all coming down the road. They're all finally coming this way. Well, it looks like you can hit them from behind with those guys. That's pretty there good. Go. Uh, so we have some bats attacking us, which, eh, I don't really care about that much. <laughs> um, we're not doing great, but we're not dead yet. Uh, we have a vampire lord, which is pretty great for us. Um, so, so what is the vampire? Is it all these spells? He's just super strong. Yeah, he's got a bunch of spells. So, like, yeah, it causes damage to combatants. Go away, zombies. So we're going to cast that on zombies. We're then going to replenish... Some of our guys. Uh, let's try those guys. They're kind of low on health, so we'll get the spearmen back. Uh, 
lost some of their health. It is kind of hard. I mean, I, I'm glad they have those like glowing arrows underneath guys when your cursor's nearby so you can tell who the enemy is and who you guys are because yeah. otherwise it's just a bunch of little like, you know, dark necrotic bodies. Yep. Or what you can also do is just press space and it will bring up oh. like all of their health and their icons and things, but there's so much stuff here. Yeah. It can be kind of hard to read. Um, to go around. You had that. You had those troops that you highlighted in the back. Where did they end up? End up? They were these guys. They got waylaid by bats. Oh no! I, I meant the guys. That you were gonna flank these guys. Oh, yeah. Rather, well, you were gonna flank them. No, they're just the slowest dudes ever. All right, here we go. Come on, skeletons. Here comes some flanking action with the skeletons. Keep casting spells. Guys, That would make sense. Plan. So we're actually starting to do quite a bit better. Um, the balance is tilting our way. We've still we've oh, got yeah. about 150 dudes. They've got about 110. So we're going to quickly encircle this. Um, you can see some like red particle effects on their banner. That means they're crumbling. And they're oh, just and they're exploding. just wow! They just go. Yeah. So once they go, they they go very very quickly. But now, uh, oh, but now these guys kind of got. Oh, they they survived. Oh. They got annihilated. Oh. oh no. So we just very quickly won because all their dudes started just crumbling, crumbled. <laughs> and then that was it. Once it's it, that's it. Wow. Yeah. So, so now we end the battle. Um, see how we resolve it. Yeah. So this shows like, hey, we deployed this many dudes. We lost this many. We have a couple of remaining, but we killed all of their guys. Like they had nobody left. I didn't even see their wizard dude. So I guess he <laughs> must died have somehow. died. Yeah. Um, so then we took that place over. Oh, but it was a pyrrhic victory. Nah, well, uh, you know what? I still won. That's all I care about. <laughs> um, yeah. You get a whole bunch of loot, and now we have that settlement. That's ours now. Oh, cool. So your, your territory is expanding? Yep, but because I'm not playing this game anymore, we're going to burn it to the ground. <laughs> nice. Because that is, all, that is how we end a stream right yeah, there, is, is, is burn, it, burn to the it to the ground. So, well, uh, thanks for showing us this game. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, sorry we didn't have more, more, more time to get deeper into, into you know, what this... I mean, this game is obviously game is way huge. more complex than you can see in an hour. I think the most... Like, we're on turn four. I think the most <laughs> I've gotten is, like, turn 50? Yeah, and it, wow. And... And, and also, sorry about the audio issues early on. I think uh, when I when I highlight this, we'll probably just cut off the whole beginning and just jump right in the middle. So, but you know, I uh, can't really we can't control that. Apparently, it just has something to do with how we broadcast. It's not even any of our hardware yeah. or software yeah. causing it. So, um, anyway, so yeah, thanks everybody for being here. And uh, tomorrow, uh, what was I doing tomorrow? Hey, let's quit this game and find out what I was doing yeah. tomorrow. Um, short version. If you like detailed, in-depth, crazy RTS games. Uh, you like sort of civilization, but with combat. Um, you'll probably dig this game. If you like Total War games, you'll probably dig this game. If you like Warhammer games, you'll probably dig this game. Um, <laughs> I'm having a ton of fun with it, so go and check it out. Cool. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, we're going to be looking at Void and Meddler, which is this indie uh, adventure game that I've had on my queue for, like, literally all year, and I've never gotten around to playing it. So finally tomorrow, I'm going to get to check out Void and Meddler. So nice. uh, please come back at noon tomorrow if you want to if you want to check that out. And... We will see you later. Let's. Yeah. Uh, Thanks oh. for joining, guys. Awkward sign off as I reach for the <laughs> mouse. Ah.